What is up, YouTube? This is Kevin. I am back to play more of my blind playthrough of the Dead Space remake. I believe today we may be finishing the game. Um, where we left off, I have basically uh, left the Ishimura with my girlfriend. I found my girlfriend, Nicole, and we have taken the marker to age of seven. Um, and in the previous episode, we have basically moved the marker through, I guess, the through the um, factory or the uh, compound on age of seven and have just basically moved it into a open area where I believe its pedestal is. So today we should be putting the marker back uh, in its original place and finishing the game. So let's get to it. All right. Give the game a second. Load in. I think we're good. Okay, so... I don't know what kind of fight we may be getting into in here. We have lots of contact energy. I am so happy to see that. Um, we actually have a lot of force energy. So if there are some mobs that come after us, uh, that will be helpful. We have quite a bit of... Uh, Ripper ammo too, so if there are any like one-off enemies that try to come at us like we'll be able to easily dispose of them now the question is Do I unequip the flamethrower and It will be quite a nightmare If I unequip the flamethrower for instance for the line gun Which can probably do more individual damage right against maybe a boss type enemy but then I'm left basically in trouble if I run into any of the bloaters or the lengthy guys that basically spit out little things that come at you, you know? Like the lanky guys that will break apart and then their heads and arms all grow legs and come after you and then the, the bloaters that spit out those little, little tiny things that are ultra annoying. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're about to run into. I've never played these games before, so uh, let's You're see. Almost there, Isaac. Get the marker to the pedestal. Hurry. We're going. We're going. Looks like we got more tin tendrils, and I. Oh God. Okay. Uh. Where, is it? Where would I blow up these tendrils? Or is there a way to go over there? No, that's still blocked off. Looks like maybe I can go this way. There we go. Oh god. I'm probably, because I'm running into these enemies that, you know, I should use my lion gun on those. Not, we need to save contact energy for whatever giant thing may come. There's guaranteed to be something. Uh, all right, so I cleared that. Oh, there it goes. Well, we're not doing that. So do I temporarily? What is that? Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, let's do this. And... Oh, I 
Okay, spit out a baby. Oh, I was trying not to get hit. Oh god, he's still here. Why? Oh my god, bro. So I tried to equip. I tried to equip. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Let me get my thoughts in order. So I tried to equip because I saw the bloater. And so I, I did try to equip uh, the flamethrower, but it turns out it was one that spits out the baby. Which, you know, the flamethrower is. You know, I don't know. I've never tried the flamethrower on the babies. Uh, but, let's see, we need to get back, I, you know, I, oh my god, we'll do this, and then we're probably going to swap to the Ripper for the next wave that comes, oh wait, I think it just cleared the way over here, probably, uh, why, why did I stop? Oh god. No, 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 no. Uh, there's a thing right here, but why can't I pick it up? This guy go? He just like disappeared. I can't stomp on him now. I wonder if I stomp on this guy, will he like let whatever's out? Okay, good. Uh, Alright, so we clear the path for the marker. Can I get- oh god! Can I get in here? I cannot. Oh god. Oh no. I don't like the fact I'm using all this force ammo. It's kind of necessary right now though. Let's see if this other guy catches up. I'd rather hit both of them. Now reunited with the pedestal. Oh my god. Uh. Just totally forget about the enemies. They're they're okay behind me, they're just chilling. Having a coffee, waiting for me. She's walking up nonchalantly, dude. Bro. Oh. Thank you, Isaac. I always believed in you. Nicole. Bro, was I tricked? We're home again. Oh no. What did I do? I never went through. I wonder if it gets you anything. Come on, come on. 
Bro, see, that is not Nicole, I guess. Forget it, Isaac. There's no fixing this. Let her go, Daniels. Let who go? Can't you see how delusional you are? We've got to go. The payload from the planet crack is about to fall. I gave you a chance to come around, Isaac. But if you still won't see it, I'll help you. One last time. Rig link override. This time, watch to the end. Isaac, it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. Just had a talk. That's all this research was in the end. Not much, is it? Just trying to make it listen when he begged for convergence. But I had a different prayer. It spoke. And then it listened. Make this stop, I said. Maybe it understood, but... Damn, that's deep. So who is this? That's clearly like Nicole's body. Cause this, so like even Elizabeth is the innocent. Been dead this whole time, and you knew, didn't you? I knew something wasn't right, but she's she'd been through so much, and at least now it'll be in safe hands. The marker won't turn anyone else into its puppet. Give me the loader remote. No, it's over. We're whole again. For Christ's Jacob. sake, I'm not going to ask again, Cross. No, enough people have died! Then just do it. I've got nothing left to lose. Cross! I still... this way, Isaac. You'll never recover from what the marker's done to you. Oh, damn. And when the tectonic will drops, all this will be buried. Just like Earth goes on it. I mean, Daniel's... Warning. Seismic activity she's, I feel like she's kind of right. Like, you know, you would think EarthGov is like burying this to hide its, uh, you know, evil doings. But at the same time, like that shit literally needs to, to die. You know? But does that mean like we're forever kind of connected so, to the marker and it can never be... I still make it before she leaves. It can never be hidden, you know, like as long as it's had that effect on us and that's why she killed Elizabeth and why she probably wants to kill me. This is really good. Like the story is really good too. When did I lose two health? I, I got hit by something else. I don't want to use that three, dude. 
And, uh, we're, yeah, oh, God. I got, still got a good amount of force going. We're switching to, uh, switching back to this. We're getting a lot of ammo, or a lot of loot, I should say. A lot of it's just, uh, a lot of it's credits. But yeah, I wonder, are these, is this is hard mode coming through where, you know, instead of actual items, I'm getting credits. Look like small things of credits too. Except for when you get that rare 1800. Living quarters. Oh, we're back in, we're back in this room. Oh, and he was talking about getting to the shuttle. All right. The shuttle's right out here. Does Isaac live? I believe, oh, hold on, there's a bench one. Um, I wonder how many nodes I have. Three nodes, so uh, we'll, let's see. I don't think we can upgrade. Yeah, we can't upgrade the, uh, I don't know if the secondary fire, it's a cluster. What is the secondary fire? Hold on. I have never tried the secondary fire of the contact game because the primary fire is actually really good. The secondary fire is an asteroid cluster which costs three energy, which means it would have about four shots each. And I got 40 and dude, it's massive. I, I, you know what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna upgrade and try it. Cause I feel like that's gonna be really good right now for what might go down here. Um, I wonder anything on the suit that's worthwhile. I don't think so. Uh, I feel like the other one that might be big is the line gun. So we'll, we're gonna grab this one right here, which will uh, increase the projectile speed, right? Is what I think that was. So a little faster movement. Really, is there, there's a store in here too. Oh gosh. All right, hold on, we're buying heels. We, need, we probably need to buy everything, spend all the money. No, I need to heal one, so we're gonna buy one. And then, you know what? We're we're spending all the money on that. I kind of get the feeling this is the final hurrah. Uh, we got a little more, so why not? Inventory full. Yeah, I know we can put away this. Um, and then actually we need to use, uh, can use that while we're in here. And then use that. Where are we at stasis? Might as well use this and then grab two. Backups. And you know what? We're gonna. Did I sell so sell this? No. All right. So. Let's also. We're gonna max whatever we can with this. Okay. So I have pulse, big boy, crowd control, and then this is gonna be good for just boss damage, potential boss damage. Um, and I believe this is the way out.
mean, Isaac. I mean it. Come on, Daniels. Daniels! Don't give up on me, Daniels. Don't kill her, don't do it! Grab my hand! I said... Stand there and stall. I can't move. Show it again. He's gonna jump. He's gonna drop.
I have a, I still have a full clip of this. I'm gonna send more ads. I don't have any uh, crowd control ammo. There's two of these. Oh, nice. I feel like it's been a problem this whole game where I should have not used toggle to sprint. Because <laughs> I keep untoggling sprint. Like now! Stop untoggling sprint! <laughs> Come on, Karen! planet no more missions all right well we'll just get out of here I, I was gonna like maybe I should pick up all this ammo and shit but we probably just need a skadoosh Asteroid from the Ishimura, I guess that crashed, right? That was it, huh? I'm over here applauding. This was a really, really good game. Really good. Everybody died but Isaac. So did he have the whole video? He did, didn't he? He went in having seen that whole video probably with Nicole injecting herself. Mm. All right, fantastic game. Fantastic game. You know what? I will spend, I want to spend a few minutes just kind of giving my review having just finished the game and maybe even think about like a, uh, maybe even think about doing like a more formal review of the game, you know, just from a casual perspective because I'm, I'm definitely a casual gamer. Um, I have a day job. So doing this is more of like a hobby and maybe trying to find a community kind of thing. But this game was 
phenomenal. I, I think like overall, if I just want to give it like a score, I'd give it like a 9.5 out of 10. Um, when I think of like the the picture perfect or the gold standard in terms of like survival horror and let's say even remakes, I give an edge to something like Resident Evil 2 because Resident Evil 2 is just next level. But Dead Space Remake was damn near on the same level in my opinion. Um, those games too, while still being a bit in survival horror, there, there's a lot of differences. I mean, Dead Space was definitely more combat heavy. Um, you're given a ton of resources, um, you know, managing the resources never became much of a problem or a challenge. Um, it did in certain points, uh, but overall, um, you pretty much had plenty of stuff to kind of get through the game, but the combat was solid. The weapons were solid. I thought all the weapons had like diversity to them that made them feel unique. Um, you know, uh, the enemies also were very diverse. There were definitely variations um, of existing ones, but there were also a, a large number of unique enemies. Um, and the weapons were more uh, useful against certain enemy types. And I think that just made it very fun. And honestly, too, that made it a bit of a challenge in itself in terms of balancing because you can only equip four weapons at a time. And so you could obviously equip, equip some weapons or leave some, I should say more, more appropriately, leave some wep weapons unequipped that become useful for enemies you just run into. And so in any given moment, that could be some panicking moments. Like, I don't know how many times I ran into those bloaters, right, that release those little tiny creatures or or I just ran into those little tiny creatures in the wild and not had my flamethrower equipped and just be left paralyzed. Like, I have nothing to do. I mean, I guess I technically could have shot other weapons at them, but I, like, you know, I never really tried that. I just kind of panicked, you know? It put me, in, it put me on the spot. The graphics in this game were phenomenal. Uh, some of the best I think I've ever seen. Definitely up there, right? I mean, Resident Evil 2, right? Remake was kind of the same thing. You know, just the graphics, the level design, the level of detail, like just walking through all the areas, seeing all the fine details to the walls and the ground, like the textures and the, the patterns, the walking into like the bridge for the first time and seeing all the, like those screens and dashes with the red lights. It was just so pretty. Like it was a true work of art in a lot of scenarios or a lot of areas where I was just blown away with the way it looked. Um, performance wise, that was another thing. Right out of the gate, this game performed amazing. I ran into very few hitches for being a new release, uh, you know, without seeing any major patches, the game performed exceptionally well. Um, now I actually do have a bit of a beefy PC and uh, probably about 70% into the game. I even switched to a 4090 um, Which saw uh, You know, I, I Essentially went from like medium graphics to ultra graphics and saw you know a little bit of an improved performance still with the 4090 But I mean, I still don't think the beefiness of your computer can you know um, Make up for things like maybe bugs, you know some of the problems that we see with a lot of big budget games being released um, so the graphics, level design, fantastic. The story was really good. I think if there was one complaint where I kind of knock it down 0.5 and not give it perfect, the game did start off a bit slow. Like the first, I want to say two to four hours was a bit slow. There wasn't much story development. You know, the enemies were very trivial. Like I, I didn't die for the longest in this game. I actually kind of wondered if I was going to get through the whole game not even dying once. Uh, that definitely changed. The challenge definitely increased when they started just swarming you with varieties of enemies that you know need different guns to uh, to take out basically and, and um, put down. Um, so that's why I kind of I think the early game didn't hook me immediately, um, but once it did, it never let go. Um, so I would say about two to four hours in and never let go and I think I beat this game in roughly 20 hours and I can't say I had a huge challenge that kind of set me back a long times. Um, there was one area on the Ishimura where I mean you're just constantly be swarmed from enemies at all direction. I think it's the the first time you're trying to load the marker um, into an area 
and I died a couple times there and it was a long you know it was a long area where it just you know you had a lot of waves of enemies and you had to kind of maneuver the marker through the area um, I definitely died a lot in that area that's probably the hardest area in the game so it's definitely not without its challenges for sure um, but again all that's all that considered phenomenal game I couldn't recommend it enough uh, I loved it and I am really hoping I know there's I, I believe right there's a dead dead space two and three I am really hoping EA gives the green light for motive to remake dead space two and three I can't I don't know if there's a three if there is a three please remake it EA please um, I did hear that EA basically gave EA motive the company that remade this game an Iron Man game and I'm I'm, I'm actually kind of disappointed to hear that uh, <laughs> I would, uh, not that I don't love Marvel, um, we could do with a little less, it's just inundated right now, and th this game is just so unique uh, from anything I think EA done has done in the past. I'm actually kind of thinking, is this my favorite EA game of all time? It, it might quas might possibly be. Um, and I'm not co I'm not counting like Studio, they bought like, they bought Bioware, right, and some of those previous Bioware games, I'm not gonna include in, in that consideration, but I mean, this may be my favorite EA game of all time. Um, well done. I am a fan. And if you know anybody has kind of sat through this and you know sat through this entire playthrough and watched this with me, I do want to thank you all. This was my very first uh, YouTube series ever um, as a content creator. I think if I went back and watched some of my earlier earlier videos, I do fumble a bit with like audio levels. You could definitely hear my audio being drowned out. You may still see that issue in this game. I'm still trying to get the hang of this, uh, considering this is my first series. Um, but I just appreciate anybody that you know has, has watched. And if you have any feedback, I would love those comments. Um, if there's anything I can do better, or maybe something I didn't do that you would like to see in future series. Um, right now, I'm, I've actually kind of already started on the Hogwarts Legacy playthrough, and I'm enjoying that. So if, you know, if you're looking for any playthroughs of that game, I'll. I've already kind of like five or six hours in. I'm looking forward to Sons of the Forest. That'll be another playthrough that you know I'll be posting on YouTube. Um, I mentioned it earlier. I have a day job, so this is kind of more something that I do for fun. Um, and so one thing you'll kind of notice with this stream, I'm really just gonna play the games that I'm, I'm wanting to, that, that look fun, that I will love, and I think a lot of people will enjoy to watch. So uh, hopefully, anyone watching you'll you won't see any filler content on this channel just good games and a person that loves playing games um so if anyone has watched the series again thank you um and that's it for my playthrough of dead space thank you all